Hey, hey, Crowd Vibers. This is season one, episode 27 of Crowd Vibe Stories. That's right, a special edition about our trip to Orlando for the Florida Groves Festival. Where to begin? Well, the one band we had circled for the Sunday lineup was the Elevators. They were playing on the Pavilion stage, which is the one in the shade, and a, such a relief, oh my gosh, from the heat. All the bands playing before the Elevators are on our radar, and we had so much fun watching all of their sets. We got to see the suburbs of Good Nature, Pacifier, and Swayze. In fact, during the Swayze set, we bumped into Nick, the drummer from for the Elevators. Mary Beth showed him her new tattoo. It's a Danny Steinman variant of the Elevators shark pin, and it was tattooed by Jamie Willis at the festival. Uh, Nick was stoked and said something to me like, you know, I don't know what to think when people get tattoos with the Elevators brand on it. Well, the 20 years of marketing experience in me simply turned around and said, it's because you have a strong brand. And when you have a strong brand and a strong community following like the elevators do, people do crazy shit and get tattoos of your logo. Well, fast forward to the elevator set. I witnessed something I've never seen at a concert before. The elevators enter their set just a few minutes early after jamming one of their most popular songs, Margaritas. You know the one. Mix up margaritas. Jackson sings it way better than me. The crowd was really into it, and uh, the cheerful sound for an encore started to get a little feisty and even rambunctious. The crowd wanted an encore, but the elevators had already unplugged. The, the stage was cleared off, and the, with respect to the headliners, of course. And um, we hung around for a hot minute because we were really hoping that they were going to come back out. But um, when it was clear there was no encore, the announcer guy came out, um, and he got booed, which is unfortunate. Don't shoot the messenger. It was clear the crowd wanted more. And I never thought I would be in a situation at a reggae show where I felt like a riot was about to break out. Thankfully, it didn't. We did hear from other attendees that security had to clear the area at the pavilion stage after we left. So that's interesting. Hopefully, no one got hurt. Fast forward to better times. On our way to the Orlando airport, we pulled up to a red light and a white van pulled up next to us. No, it did not say free candy. But my daughter said, Dad, it looks like a band van. Sure enough, I looked over and I saw Jackson from the elevator sitting in the passenger seat. And then we saw John and Greg in the back. We pointed at them. They pointed at us. I threw up a shaka and uh, we all kind of freaked out for a hot minute. And uh, then the light changed and the moment was over. But wait, crowd vibers, the story doesn't end there at the stoplight. We all just happened to be flying the same airline and we all had some bags to check. So we wrapped up our bags. And while we waited, MB had some fresh, endless summer vinyl that she got from the Florida Groves Festival. She was treating it as a precious carry-on. Well, the boys, uh, Jackson, John, and Greg, were super cool and took pictures with us. They got to admire the Steinman tattoo, and they signed the album cover for us. Then we all went on our separate ways, security, trains, food, a flight home, and that's it. So if you like the crowd vibes, smash the like button, share your favorite videos, and subscribe to get alerts for new stuff. Thanks, y'all. Enjoy the crowd vibes.